Ashton Altieri right now, and we've had a lot of fresh snow in the high country. This one's hitting the plains hard. Yes, it is. The plains and the Palmer Divide. Ron's down in Lone Tree. He has two inches of snow on the ground. John Bache up at Cool Creek Canyon, the foothills of Boulder County, nearly four inches of snow. But Leslie Burns on the west side of Greeley, yeah, only about a quarter of an inch measured there. Here's the snow stake up at the Loveland Ski Area, 21 degrees, really windy, and they have about four inches of snow in the last 24 hours. But check out snow mass. 15 inches and a shout out to the Western Slope Powderhorn. There's 14 inches of snow out there. Beaver Creek has eight inches a little closer to Metro Denver. We've got six inches at Winter Park, four inches at Breckenridge, the same at Keystone. All right, here's CBS 4 radar. Snow already winding down in the high country. Not much additional snowfall there, but there will continue to be snow accumulation for the next several hours out on the eastern plains along I-70 once you get uh, to the east of Aurora. For most of us around Metro Denver, we're not going to get much more snow than we have on the ground right now. Maybe another inch or two in a few spots, but that's really going to be the extent of it. We'll all experience wind, especially between now and lunchtime. Wind gusts of 40 miles per hour at DIA, 43 mile per hour gusts clocked up in Hudson here in the last hour, and it's pretty gusty down in Douglas County, parts of Arapahoe County as well. There's a blizzard warning that goes until 11 a.m. Britt just mentioned this. Uh, this is where we were live, I-70 at Air Park, and then, of course, I-70 closed going in the eastbound direction from there because because of this wind gust of 50 miles per hour and looking at an additional inch or two of accumulation for all these areas shaded in the orange color from Castle Rock all the way up to Fort Morgan, Akron, Ray, Lyman, Burlington, all included under that blizzard warning. All right, so when does the snow end elsewhere? By lunchtime, there's just not going to be much snow left. Maybe a little bit along the Palmer Divide, but then we'll see that end this afternoon, and we should be dry statewide this evening. Temperatures today struggling to get above freezing. And with the northerly wind, that relentless wind today, wind chill values will be in the single digits and teens at times all the way through this afternoon. Tomorrow, much less wind, more sunshine overall, 44. We should get to see a little sun this afternoon, believe it or not. And then on Thursday, 35, we've got another chance of snow coming in Wednesday night into Thursday morning, Andrea. That's not going to be much. We'll get some snow for sure back up in the high country, but for Denver, probably nothing more than a few flurries maybe for the Thursday morning drive. So not nearly as many issues Thursday morning <laughs> as what we are dealing with this morning. Yes. It's a mess it, east and south. It really is. I mean, you and I have been kind of just like running back and yeah, forth, crossing paths. We really haven't said hi. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah good how morning. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we are seeing a lot of issues on the roads. I-70 westbound. This is along uh, US-40 where you can see all of those semis pulled over to the side of the road there. As Ashton has been talking about, that blowing and drifting snow. You can see it moving along the interstate there in that circle. And we are seeing some closures as you make your way from I-70 all the way from Air Park in both directions to Highway 118. That's almost as you reach Lyman. So US-36 is going to be your best option around that. A couple of earlier crashes reported US-285 southbound just past C-470. Also a couple of earlier crashes eastbound I-70 on the approach to I-225. Also another crash reported westbound Pena Boulevard on the approach to Tower Road. I want to take you to this closure, US 24 from Highway 21 to I-70 in both directions. And Colorado 94 from Space Village to US 287. You can see closure in both directions there as well. Another closure to tell you about, uh, Highway 83 from Kelsey Trail to Palmer Divide as well. Drive times on the east side of town stacking up. I-70 east and westbound, a 17-minute drive in both directions. All right, Andrea, thank you very much. Well, the